What's up and welcome to the Redhead Redemption channel where my hair is actually red but it looks brown because my light is fucking blue. Okay, so I know I've got like kind of like a weird motherfucking story that makes no sense. First you worked on Wall Street and then you went to porn and now you're streaming video games and making weird videos on the internet. So Paige, what the fuck? Honestly, tell us. Someone literally sent a message like tell me about this finance shit. So in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how I got into finance and why I work there and why I left. So here we go. First of all, I have this one little bone to pick with some of the dickheads on the internet who back when I came out as the Wall Street porn star up until today even are saying, why do they keep calling her the Wall Street porn star, Wall Street this, like she was just an intern guys. All she did was get coffee. Okay, first off, Fuck you. And I know that whoever says that has never actually even been like near Wall Street because if you have, you would know that Wall Street internships are extremely intense and they're hard to get. And getting a Wall Street internship is oftentimes harder than getting the job itself because it almost always leads to a job. As long as you don't fuck things up too much, you tend to get a job offer if you did an internship first. Number two, typically if you get an internship on Wall Street, at least at one of the good shops, you're gonna go through like minimum like six rounds of interviews to get that. Like it's not like you just roll in and like answer a few questions and they decide to hire you or not. No, they grill your ass. Everything from politics and current events to actual finance terms to economics to what's the current interest rate of the economy <laughs> to solve this weird math problem, like all of that. And they just put you through that. So like if you got an internship on Wall Street, like you're smart, okay? So just, well, want to get out that out of the way. By saying I was an intern at a top tier investment bank on Wall Street, I was not just getting coffee. Like, I was I was doing shit, all right? Why did I get into finance in the first place? And how the fuck did that end up translating into porn? If you listen to the story, how it all progressed, seems like, oh, it totally makes sense why she did all this weird shit now. Okay. When I first went to college, I thought I wanted to be like a lawyer or something. I actually double majored in political science and anthropology initially. Uh, then after a year, I was like, damn, there's like no jobs for these kind of degrees, at least from a state school at the time I was going to University of Florida. If you graduate with political science from fucking Harvard, yeah, you can still get any job pretty much. But from a state school, political science, not really going anywhere. Also, I don't care about politics that much. It's probably the only reason to go to college. You actually discover like what you do and don't like. What I discovered though that <laughs> money wasn't really coming my way with the political science stuff and on top of that I started stripping and doing things to pay for things. After the first year of like adulthood in college I was like damn I need to make a lot of money. This shit sucks. I hate worrying about money. Fuck this. Because I was also in the strip clubs at the time, I met someone who worked in finance basically, but he was a venture capitalist. He drove around in like a nice fucking car and had a bomb ass house in Miami. So basically though, this guy told me all about his business and was like, I invest in these, you know, young companies and they're always like really technologically innovative companies. He'd show me at the time, I think it was some sort of like talking app. Um, for your phone and this is like 2009 or 2010 or something so they're like there wasn't like Siri yet So I was like holy shit a phone like it's gonna talk to you on the phone like fuck and I was like damn that's so innovative I was like well that looks really fun like you're just like investing in these like young cool innovative companies and like helping them grow I'm like I think I would be good at that like I feel like I could like come up with like cool ideas to help them grow and things like that. I don't know, how do I do what you're doing, bro? And so he said, well, you should probably change your major to like business or finance and then you'll learn about a lot of that stuff and then maybe get a job and work through the finance hierarchy and then one day maybe you too can become a venture capitalist like me and hang out with 19 year old strippers. By the time that I was still a political science anthropology major, I was like, shit, I don't wanna just throw away all these credits. So I took a business law class Figuring that would be a good way to introduce me to like business and if I like it and whatever. Uh, so I take a business law class, totally met a hot military dude in that class and um, we totally had a lot of study sessions during business law. So shout out military dude from <laughs> 2010. Don't remember your name, couldn't tell ya. So in this business law class, we ended up having to do like a, like a group project or something. And everyone in my group was part of the business finance school. So in this group, they were talking about how difficult the intro to finance class was. The tests are impossible to complete. It's hard to even get a C in this class. And I was like, can it really be that hard? Like really, like if you just study or read thing, like you should do it, right? And they were like, oh, you could not pass this class. It would be so hard for you, you have no idea. Like, don't even try, like, don't even think about it. 
motherfucker. I was like, fuck you. I got a year's worth of AP credits under my belt right now, so I'm gonna go take this class just because I can. Just for funsies. Just to show you that I, I fucking can get an A, okay? Fuck you. So I literally take the introductory finance class at University of Florida while I'm still a poli-sci major just to fucking shove it in these dickheads face hashtag girl boss so I start taking the finance class and lo and behold I'm like this shit is cool I am very intrigued these problems are really interesting I like solving these problems and yeah I, I liked the finance class and I thought it was easy as fuck so yeah, so that's how I got into finance, okay? Because I met a venture capitalist in the strip club and because some douchebag 20 year old told me I wasn't smart enough to take the finance class. So here I am majoring in business finance, University of Florida. Uh, I'm teaching assistant and an honor student and I could not get a fucking internship to save my life. I did get an internship at some like private farm wealth management firm. They literally, literally manage money for farmers. And I was like, this can't be my life. That's when I basically, this is a whole different story, but I ended up moving to New York City in hopes of finding an internship. And when I got there, I was like, dad, goddamn, I really just need to transfer to a school up here and use the school to get an internship at a Wall Street firm. So what I did, um, because I was having such an issue trying to get into some of these like super days at like Goldman and whatever, not because I wasn't good at the interviewing process, I literally just couldn't get there. That, that was the hard part. When I transferred to Fordham, they had a specialization called an alternative investments at Fordham, which is the whole reason I transferred to Fordham in the first place was because I wanted to do venture capital and startups and that is classified as an alternative investment. Basically, we hear the long story short, traditional investments is your stocks, your bonds, your mutual funds, your fucking CDs. Then you have alternative investing, which typically is much higher risk, much less diversification, and much higher reward. So typically you only get people investing in alternative investments who have a fuckload of money to play with, like either high net worth individuals or institutions. And by institutions, we're talking about your teacher's pins and plans, your Harvard endowments. <laughs> Those uh, kinds of places will typically engage more in alternatives, as well as traditional investments, but also alternative investments because they want to get really big returns. Okay, so I specialized in that stuff. Like, as far as finance goes, I know the most about alternatives. So I realized when I was trying to get this internship on Wall Street, I was like, I need to find somewhere that deals more with this alternative space because my main competitive advantage is that I majored in alternatives and I'm a girl. <laughs> That's all I had going for me. If I talk to anybody on the Wall Street circuit, teachers, professors, everyone, they look, they literally took one look at me and they were like, you need to do sales and trading. You need to be in sales. And I'm like, so I have boobs. Therefore, sales. Fuck you. But I was like, whatever, let me just let me leverage this. So I started looking at marketing internships, sales, basically. But something closer to where I wanted to go, which ultimately was like hedge funds, private equity, whatever the case, I wanted to go in that sphere and hopefully end up in venture capital, which is still the plan. Now I'm really doing it in a different way though. <laughs> so I looked, I just scoured internships and job postings specifically at the banks looking for anywhere that dealt with alternatives. And lo and behold, I looked at Lazard Asset Management and they had a little, little section with one little posting that said, looking for an intern for our alternative investments group. We help to analyze targets for marketing purposes to raise assets for Lazard's hedge fund strategies. And I was like, I am so qualified for that shit. Let's go. So, but how am I gonna get this? So I, I send them a resume, no response as usually. If you send if you send these banks a resume, you almost never get a response unless you come from fucking Harvard, seriously. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck this, taking matters into my own hands. I went on LinkedIn, I found the guy who runs the fucking alternative investments group at Lazard, and I fucking emailed his ass, okay? And I was like, hey broski, um, yeah. Uh, I majored in alternatives, I have a fucking high GPA, I moved all the way to New York City to try to get a fucking Wall Street internship and it's hard as fuck, so if you could throw me a bone, <laughs> that would just be fucking great. This really annoys me, a lot of people when I went to porn and whatever were like, oh she probably sucked some dick to get that job or like whatever, like, no. The guy who ran that alternative investments group was one of the smartest, most respectable kind of businessmen I've ever met. He actually turned into kind of a mentor for me, so it pisses me off whenever people accuse me of fucking blowing him and shit. Uh, it wasn't like that at all. So when I actually started work working, um, it wasn't really sales, like it's classified as sales, but 
we had to basically seek out optimal endowments and match them with uh, certain hedge fund strategies and then actually then go send the salespeople after them. So I had to look up things like what is the Harvard endowments, you know, portfolio diversification look like right now? Are they invested in any credit arbitrage? We have credit arbitrage fund. It was actually more of a data job than anything and I end up crunching lots of data. I mean, like the associates and stuff would come to me with some like menial data entry task and I'd finish it and like within half an hour and they'd be like, we thought that would take you all day, what the fuck? And I'd be like, cause I automated that shit, bitch. I know how to use a computer. <laughs> and basically my boss caught on to the fact that I was bored as fuck all day. So he brought me into his office one day and he was like, listen, I have all these problems that I can't solve for and that my associates are too busy doing other things to solve for. So can you make our life, our life in the group easier? I wanna be able to like see all this data. So basically what I ended up doing for this group was I built them a whole database of all the stuff they needed to be able to track and automate updating it instead of keeping it all in a spreadsheet and wasting a lot of the associates time maintaining that shit and then found some other software that could visualize the data and then built some dashboards for you know my boss and the salespeople to be able to kind of click through and visually see what pension plans endowments and whatnot to target first that's what i did on wall street for everyone who's interested so up until this point, it probably sounds like I was pretty passionate about all this and that I really liked it. But what I hated was I just didn't like like the nine to five structure, the politicking, the people who always were butthurt about something, how drained everybody, especially the women, man. I would look at some of these women that were like 40 working uh, in finance and I'd be like, damn, they just seem so washed the fuck out. It just didn't seem like a happy, fun place to spend 10 years, you know? And I was like, damn, for me to get into venture capital, I'm probably gonna have to work in these places and these shops for a long time. And I'm just like, I just don't like the environment. It really came down to that. I just didn't like the environment. I was just bored. I'm one of those people that I just, I don't think that I have to do anything that I don't want to do. <laughs> so obviously to my detriment sometimes, okay? That is what led me into looking into the whole porn thing because I was like, well, maybe I could go into an industry that is more exciting, but that I could also start a business in and maybe start a fund in and do something, just, just be different, be unique, do something disruptive. That's what I was always more intrigued by. As I said at the beginning of the video, I wanted to do venture capital, that's why I majored in finance. So porn to me was a quicker avenue to entrepreneurship and venture capital. And also I like fucking. A lot of people can't seem to put this together. Why would a girl like that do that? Well, cause you can be fucking smart, motivated and ambitious and like taking dick. They're not mutually exclusive. I hope that answers a lot of your questions about what I did on Wall Street, how I got into it, why I left, blah, blah, blah. I'm still very ambitious and passionate and I still have a mind for business. I like it a lot. Starting here guys, I'm just starting here. If you guys really like the whole Wall Street stuff and you wanna know more about what it was like to work on Wall Street, if you wanna know some crazy stories I have of some of the people I knew on Wall Street and hung out with as a result of being a stripper on Wall Street, <laughs> as well. Please leave a like on this video, leave a comment, and make sure you tell me because I listen to you guys and I make stuff that you tell me to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening to my stupid motherfucking face. One more time. P.S. There's more drugs on Wall Street than